Alrighty, so in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to make one of these uh, Game Boy Link cables, or rather how to sleeve it. Um, I buy them uh, pre-made and then I just sleeve them uh, with, with paracord and heat shrink. Uh, so yeah, I just wanna show you the process that I go through for that and hopefully uh, this will be of some help for you. So yep, let's get started. All right, so first we need to cut open the jacket on the link cable um, and then you just open it up like that and take it off and that's on one side and then do the same thing on the other side just slice it open and then uh, take it off should come off pretty easy and then uh, we want to open up the the clamp there so we can get the cable to come out a little bit and then we'll just cut it off Right there, you can see how I did that. And then we'll get some electrical tape and put it over the end that we just cut off. That way the wires don't come out uh, when we're sleeving it. Um, and then just tidy it up a bit, get it as small as possible so it'll fit through the paracord well. All right, then you want to get your paracord and uh, draw it out to the length that you need it to be and then add a few extra inches probably at least six extra inches because it will uh, get a lot shorter uh, by the time we're done all right and then you want to pull out the inner strands of the paracord so we can actually put the new one in the new cable in all right and then you start feeding the cable through the paracord just a few inches at a time. Um, it is a little bit tedious, but you will do it eventually. It does get through, as you can see there, it got all the way through. And then you wanna unclamp the other connector. Pull it out. And then you want to uh, bunch up or push, push the paracord up as much as you can um, up to the cable and then basically just push all the wires back into the uh, the metal housing as you can and then you want to re-clamp that uh, that metal clamp there um, as much as you can because that's what's going to be really what's keeping it attached all right and then you want to cut open the uh, the end that we fed through the paracord and then strip it down a little bit and then strip the individual wires that are inside for Game Boy Advance there should be four wires so we'll strip strip down the outer jacket and then strip the uh, the internal wires a little bit all right and then we'll get the uh, the connector that we had cut off originally and uh, open it up a little bit um, there's gonna be some some metal that you can open up on there and then we want to strip those individual wires as well. Just leave a tiny little bit, maybe like a, a millimeter or two, just strip off a little bit from the ends of these uh, wires here. Because what we're going to do is uh, we're going to just strip them off and then uh, next we'll tin them a little bit with some solder. Uh, but first you want to cut off four pieces for the uh, the heat shrink tubing. I have some one millimeter heat shrink here that I use. All right, and then we'll tin up the, the wires there. And then we'll tin up the ones on the connector itself. All right, and then we'll get those four little heat shrink tubings that we had and sleeve them over. Don't forget to do this before you solder the wires together. You want to put the little heat shrink tubing on, on the wires. I, what I do is I put them on the connector side and just kind of feed them into the connector for now so they're out of the way. All right, and then we solder the wires together back to the wire that they were originally connected to. So the green will go to green 
red to red and so on. Just use the same connection that we used before. And I'll just show the entirety of this because this is probably the most tedious part if you're not if you're not uh, very experienced with soldering. You just solder the wires together, make sure they have a good connection to each other or to themselves, I should say. All right, now they're all connected, reconnected to themselves. I'll show you that there. There, you can see that they're all connected up there, soldered to themselves again. All right, and then next we want to pull through the heat shrink tubing that we put on earlier, the one millimeter heat shrink. Pull it over the solder joints that we just made, so we can cover these up so they're not shorting each other. Right, and just pull it through and cover up each joint and then uh, get your either heat gun or lighter or whatever you have to, to heat that up to shrink that tubing. If you're using a lighter, just don't get too terribly close. Keep it like an, maybe an inch above the flame and just make sure it gets hot enough to shrink the tubing and, and don't try not to melt anything else. Um, and then we'll just, once you do that, we'll pull the paracord up uh, a bit to to the end of the the outer jacket the black outer jacket is what I try to do and then I'll shove the wires back into uh, the metal casing try and get the black wire casing part to be what the actual grip grabs onto the the this uh, metal clamp here basically because we don't want it to just be grabbing onto the uh, internal wires if possible. All right, and then we want to close up the the metal casing around the connector itself. On a Game Boy, on a, a Game Boy Advance cable, there's going to be those those little outer wing things. If you can see that, but just clamp it up as much as you can. All right, and then at this point, that's when this is when I usually test it. You may want to test it at an earlier point, um, maybe before you do the heat shrink, but uh, just make sure that no wires are going to be shorting or anything like that. But I just go ahead and plug it in and go through the prompts. And as you can see, it's working. As I move the character on one screen, it moves on the other screen. And uh, you can see there that it is, the connection is working. All right, so now here is when I'm gonna get the heat shrink for the connectors themselves. And for one side, I just kind of measure it out uh, so that it goes past the connector. Um, and then I'll just use the use the first piece that I cut to measure the second piece because it'll be the same. Um, and I'll double check what uh, what size uh, heat shrink that is. I'll put it in the description. So we'll put the first one over here and uh, on Game Boy Advance there's going to be a little notch that you want to look out for. You want to make sure that the heat shrink is covering that that notch that's sort of sticking out there so the heat shrink can grab onto something uh, other than just the, the metal itself, uh, the slippery metal. And then we'll just use the lighter again to, to shrink it down. And when you're doing this, you want to you wanna be a bit careful. Don't, don't get the plastic tip uh, too hot because it will melt and that can definitely affect the, the cable and its ability to function correctly. So just uh, be a bit careful with this part. Um, maybe if you have a heat gun, that might work better than a lighter just because it'll be uh, less specific. 
uh, areas. But then, yeah, just do the same thing on the other side, slip it over, heat it up, shrink it down. Right, so yeah, I'm just testing the, the tip there to see if, how hot it got. But there you go. Right, and then test it again just to make sure it is still working after everything is complete. And then uh, what I like to do here is wrap it around a wine bottle and uh, heat it up with a hair dryer and then let it cool. That way it gets a nice coil, as you can see here. And then uh, that should be basically it. Um, if you have any questions about it, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment and I'll try and answer. Uh, but that is the basic process that I go through for each one of these cables. So yeah, thanks for watching.